okay. Buzzing. Now we're going auto or full. I don't feel like I'm going auto. Oh. And then select paper. Now. Yeah. We're going to run. Oh. Okay, we're going to go bypass tray. Right, bypass tray. Oh, damn. Bypass tray. We have right, time to config bypass tray. All right. All right, guides are in place from another demo. Now we're going to hit the paper tray. We're going to hit the paper tray. Tray one. No, we're not going to. Not going to no, anyway. Oh, look, that's convenient. Just take some of this stuff out of the side. Yeah, I've configured my um, heat tray one on my machine. Ah, it's confusing. Yeah, tray one I think is on my machine. C353, I've configured it for A4 landscape, which is this, or A4R, which is commonly known. I hope there's no dust here. So it goes in the bypass tray. Now the guides have already been set, so I won't be fussing around with the, the guides. Now it's a little bit tricky trying to load this with one hand. And yes, there's a bit of grubbiness, I don't like, oh it's a bit of a doggy very technical I mean most normal people wouldn't notice this kind of thing um I don't think it would make a difference but I might as well just remove it just to be safe I'll just return it to the tray one or you know I mean normal people don't really have much of a fuss about it but I'm just like that you know I'm a scientist <laughs> one day I'll be a scientist I want to design a self guided photocopier and this would be very important make sure things are done precisely clean damn you auto clear okay that's the that's the perils of using a public photocopier right this won't take too long to, to set up okay <laughs> that would have frightened the living bazookas out of somebody right now I'm gonna get stuck into I normally like this program from left to right but then sometimes I don't I do it often chaotically Sort of half chaos, half order, which is a bit strange. All right, all right, we're in the bypass tray. I think we're fine. We'll just check. Was it good to check? Because photocopiers are dumbass machines that need to be constantly watched. Just when you think you've got it right, you get caught out. Sometimes it can be quite catastrophic for the machine. <laughs> so, <laughs> even for a dab hand like me, there's a lot I don't know. <laughs> Believe you me. <laughs> Oh, I've got an IQ of 137. I've got Asperger's syndrome. I'm thinking about copy assistance every hour that I'm awake. <laughs> and here I am, I still muck it up. I've even got one in my bedroom called the C353, which is the same make. make. It's a joke, really, it's a joke. They're not easy to use, but I still like to have fun with them. Um, you know, it's a good way of, when you're not in the industry, which I'm not, well, it's a great fun just to have a bit of a, a bit of a party. So it's, I don't get feel the sense of loss when I'm not in the industry because not like most copier industrialists do. I don't like being out of the industry now, but basically I can survive because I've got this hobby. And I call it, it used to be called photocopier art, but now I call it simply copier configuration art because this version's a lot more, well, this is configuring. This is configuring on a grand scale. It's a great way of learning about the copier's um, strengths and limitations, but damn it, these features, why do Konica Minolta stick these in? All brands do it. They've done it for decades. Why? Huh, and then you're paying damn a lot of money for this. I mean, imagine if you could download this stuff as apps. You pay just a couple of dollars for each one of these if you really want them. I don't think normal people would find a practical application for this on normal. They just want to make a photocopy. Hello? And yeah, I'm willing to have a bit of a, a joke, a bit of a bit of fun, have a bit of fun with the at the in, expense of the industry, and you know, make a bit of a joke about it because it is it is a, it is a joke, but it's not funny when, when you're trying to do your job. And there's all sorts of problems, like security problems, with the hard drives on these things. Even I don't understand how it all hangs together. I don't know everything, but anyway, we're just going to take some old profiles here that we did. We're just going to wipe over the top, delete them. Okay, um, I don't know what to call this one. Um, maybe I'll just go back and just call it Ha. Ha! Well, I did that yesterday. That's a bit of a boring routine 
doing the same thing. But anyway, I'll just use the same, just for a joke. Photocopy industry, got to be fun. So, if you find yourself out of a job and you haven't got money to buy your own photocopier, this is what we call do-it-yourself public photocopying. Just find a copier, grab a copier, anywhere you can find one, a library, even this chemist. Well, you, not everyone can go to this chemist, but this is just an example. Bypass tray is feeding, this made a big loud thump. That's what I like about Conica Minolta, it's, it's hard, but it's pretty solid. It's got a, I believe it's got a reputation for reliability, but I can't say much else like most photocopiers for the software and usability but I like using these machines they're one of my favorite brands anyway that's a hand okay that's the starting point all right we'll show you that later yeah so that profile needs more work so imagine this is not suitable for even a print shop environment printers don't enjoy doing these setups too many make readies equals you don't make any money out of it from the customer now money is important but in, in many ways but you know money is not everything but you still have to have money you've got to have a balanced view loving your job is important um, and, want, and therefore you want to serve your customers if you, if you love your job um, but these things are not terrible you know this is all manual I've noticed a lot of things that everything in this world is manual I mean it's, it's a disgrace in my opinion but what can we do at this stage I mean manual manual um, taps in a toilet right in a public toilet I saw one running today and I was appalled. Now people think it's better to have manual, but then if technology, if, if sensor taps are badly designed and I've seen some real bad ones, well, it seems to be a no-win sitch, you know, because manual human error, forgetting to turn off the, the tap. So imagine if you could have a tap that can switch itself off, but a very good sensor tap, right? Now that's an example of why what's gone wrong we've got a very devoluted society and it's going to get worse believe you me much worse especially if we run our water supply is going to be going from two percent possibly down to less than one percent you just don't know and the tap running like that is a pain in the butt dangerous okay we haven't finished with this setup yet so basically we're going to try something different this is quite a fascinating machine to work with now my fingernails are i've been I took my fingernails off i don't like fingernails that are bent you know so I'm just going to go stamp cop. We're going to do something quite funny with this machine. Um, I've shown this in a previous demo. Um, whether we're going transparent or now, this is not an easy function to use, and most people um, don't like using these fancy, fancy ass functions. Now, this I won't bother with that. It's silly. We'll just stick with. Um, I think we're just going to go. A3 paper size? No, correction, A3 original size. This is layout function, very annoying. Um, a normal person does not have the brain power nor the desire to do this. So just <laughs> I'm just flicking through. But we're going to take it off. Um, we're not going to go auto color, but we could do that. Oh, damn you. You can't, you can't set. Now, for some reason, now this worked with negative positive before. I'm sure it did. Um, I think it's because I got the root, I got the, the setup wrong so I might be able to get it I'm sure I set it up yesterday so I turn that off this I've seen let me just prove let's just see if it happens if it works so overlay um, so basically we're going to attempt this again we're going to go full color we're taking off neggy posi we just have what's called a feature clash very common with biz hubs right I'm going to go here again I'm familiar with this particular routine <laughs> even I get bogged down a bit so now what we've got to do is see if we can overcome this clash Bazinga! I've seen this on a DocuColor, similar effect on a Docu Color 1250, where you, if you can get if you get the order the right way, you can actually overcome a machine deficiency. Now these were this, this sort of thing has been discovered by accident. I might be able to apply this to my C353. So you can may, imagine, right? Sometimes the, the companies foul up like this. You assume it's a feature clash, but then there's a loophole I just discovered. Now, how that happens? Copier, pro, copier coding appears to be very chaotic. Yes, money driven. Money and, oh sorry, money and greed. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Whole industries under this. I wasn't intending on doing an overlay, so we're going to change things around a bit. What you could call it a gear change. Um, the only thing is, questioning, because uh, different uh, parts of the machine have different effects. It's really stupid, really. Um, See, so it's, it's what, you know, 
Although I love photocopiers to bits, and I wouldn't have a world without them, man. I'd rather be dead than have no photocopying, really. But the thing is, you've got to think that that these machines are, are riddled with trouble. Riddled with trouble. It's not funny. Um, so now we've got... just dropped out the blue. I can't remember half the time. I'm basically a, probably one of the best configurators on this planet. And here I am, I'm, I'm muffing it up too. Now this brightness... I just touched the brightness. The brightness was still set here. It was like laying dormant because I touched the exposure control down the other end. Normal con no, forget about this. Too many damn mix-ups in this machine. I mean, no offense. I really love copiers, man. This provides me with a big challenge. You know, geeks and nerds love to be challenged by this stuff, but they can also be driven mad thinking they can't design this stuff. They can't help have any effect on how they're designed so this just becomes a, a, a purely a critique and we don't want to be sitting on our asses critiquing equipment forever and that's all we do we look pretty stupid that way but we're not okay we're going to try something now we'll just see how it plays maybe we should have got rid of the background color for all we know but that's basically the first scan i don't know we're just going to see what else we can do okay another stage see how this works so i'm going to do my hand again and see what happens now this is a very hard feature to make very creative use of now to get this thing to work you basically got to then hit the finish button now when i first started using this i was struggling believe you me this is not an intuitive machine even for even for someone like myself right i would be called a benchmark now i don't know hardly everything about copiers but I'd be probably one of the top of the pack when it comes to operating a photocopier like this. There are a lot of other areas of the copier that other geeks would, would, would trash me in, but this is my expertise. Now, we didn't get any significant effect because we basically just lost the hand, but it's hard to use. It still looks good though. One thing I noticed, um, here we walk into edit colour. This appears to have dropped out for some bazooka reason. It has dropped out. So I don't know whether we actually we actually fooled the machine or whether the machine fooled me. Ha ha ha. Bit of, or maybe I did take it out. I don't remember. I'm basically call myself. I've got basically short-term memory problems. So I call myself the absent-minded Bizha Professor. Okay, so I'm gonna try that again. Um, now one thing we've got to do is to make it look better. I think we're going to plonk out the background colour. So we're basically going to kick off the background colour. Now why the hell does Konica or any put this stuff in their copier? It just blows my mind, but it's a lot of fun for a nerd like me. Okay, now we're going to attempt it again. Alright, we're mode without background colour. Let's see if this thing will do what I'm basically wanting it to do. Something exciting. Now we're going to do it again. We're going to hit the star button. You're going to do a hand again. Right? This is a great time to stop yourself from going mad if you can't work in the photocopier industry. Sorry, most nerds or geeks or enthusiasts don't seem to have this resourcefulness. And unfortunately, I see so many copier enthusiasts suffering so much because they they don't know how to occupy their minds. But it's not, it can't be a substitute for an R&D lab or a servicing job, but it's better than nothing. It's survival. Survival in an anti-geek world. But we will design a self-guided photocopier. We'll build a photocopier factory. There you go. That's what the overlay can do. Basically, yeah, and companies are falling down, including Konica and Alta. These will be the guys we buy out. They're so bad on the stock market. Okay, we're going to do another, pro we're going to reprocess this image. All right, so now I'm going to get to work. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'll just put it, pause it here. Okay, we're on it now. So we're going to decide what to do. Now, this thing's not as responsible as my C353, but my fingernail, I had to pull it off because like, it drives me mad as an Aspie to have fingernails that have been peeled off, you know, I hate it. Um, okay, should use clippers, but I couldn't find them. Uh, so now, I'm going to apply background colour. We'll make it red, just keep it simple. And then what we have to get in here is, now, we're going to turn off this. Sorry about that. I should, better to res it responds better with a fingernail. I prefer my index finger. Uh, so now we're going to get them stuck in, and we're going to basically. I don't know if we're going to give it blue. Uh, I feel intuitively we've been drawn to blue, right? Because I'm a gifted copier artist, and I 
believe there's something out there that gives me the power to do this really well, though I don't do it perfectly. The word perfect is a, is a stupid word for a world like this. You know, there's no such thing as perfect when you're living in a world like this. So I won't bother with mode memory, we're just going to get straight on it. Now, I don't know, we're going to drop this out. Um, drop out overlay, we're going to plonk it out. Sorry, most, a lot of your copier enthusiasts are on plonk alcohol. That's not a joke. It's not funny, but that's just the way you guys have gone. I'm not accusing you, right? I understand you guys. I'm for you guys. You can be rehabilitated in this photocopier factory. So now we're just going to place this on the plate. Right? We're going to try and be quick because the auto clear will get me and then all my settings will be totally worthless. And then I have to shoot this again. So here we go. We're going to start up. This shows the positive side of photocopying. Now, to me, this is the, this is probably the, that was the bypass tray again. Now, do I have to tell you guys? You guys probably know more about bypass trays than I do, right? I'm more technically endowed. I'm not endowed with technical skills. I don't have the aptitude. My memory problems are one of the things that precludes me from working at the moment as a technician. I can do a lot more than. Yes, there we go. That's amazing, isn't it? So you can basically add on to an image. It's pretty good my angle okay we're going to go back and we're going to take that same image we're going to keep it simple we can't get too high for looting this is still a very complicated configuration you just saw so we're now going to go to the blue right we're just going to create a set um, one day I'd like to exhibit this stuff but at the moment I'm not the world's not ready for it that's my opinion so what color did we go to into blue so we're going to try and now use a bit of red. We're just going to make it a little bit more creative by mixing it up a bit. Uh, we don't want really pure red because we can basically get more creative. Okay, we're going to hit the start. I might not give you a proper view of the bypass tray. There you go, that was the last sheet gun off the bypass tray. And maybe it won't be a full set, it's just going to be. What, we, what artists would call a diptych. Two images now. I, don't, I know art is probably boring to you guys, but it's a photocopy. It's photocopier art. There you go. So that's not blue now, that's purple. There you go. See? The great machine. As far as art goes. Okay, we just got. Yes, the copier just reset itself. But normally it's still got to hit the reset button because if someone uses it soon, well, that's the thing. Now we're just going to close up the bypass tray because people have been known to walk into it and it really hurts the people. It shows that the Konica and Minolta's are very well built mechanically, or well, the hardware is. That's a positive. Okay, just these two images up, up close. Got to show them really nicely. But basically, yeah, these ones were, would be considered, the first one I think was a make ready, and the second one was sort of a make ready. But still, it's beautiful. You know, you don't dispose of images. They all have a unique quality. Here we go again. Now that's the first one we did in the overlay mode that worked out. And as we move along, this is the second one. But they all have different qualities. These are not, you know, re totally refined. But this is just a trailer. No a test, just a, just a taste of what these machines can do. Right? Now, ideally I should print this onto gloss paper. But, you know, we don't want to get too whiz-bang here. 